There's lots of conversation now about what game is going to replace Star Wars Armada. And one game that keeps popping up is Star Trek Into the Unknown. WizKid sent me this preview kit so I could show you a little bit about what the game is. So let me take it over to the table and show you what's inside. The first thing I want to point you to is that this says explore, negotiate, and battle. So there's more dimensions to this game than just battling. Nothing wrong with just battling, but I'm, I'm, I'm curious how they're going to incorporate this exploration and negotiation part into the game. First thing you can pop, probably spot is we've got these acrylic range rulers. I don't know if acrylic is standard in the game, but I'm guessing it is. I mean, acrylic off the bat is a good move because we all kind of know that in Star Wars Armada and Star Wars X-Wing, acrylic was the way you would go if you wanted to upgrade. So acrylic off the bat, smart. There's also these curved versions. Next, we got dice. They're very nicely colored. I, I don't usually, I'm not usually a person who's like, oh, these dice are amazing, but these are, these are kind of fun to look at. So good work on them, whiz kids. Next, we'll take a look at these cards. A lot of the cards on these games have lots of text. So there's a lot of text on these, lots of little stats up here. Again, I don't know what they all correspond to, but there's definitely a lot going on. So there's a lot to sink your teeth into with this game. It certainly is not a simple game. That's my my number one takeaway. There, uh, this box comes with a scenario for how to play like a very basic intro uh, game, but I don't, I haven't tried it out yet. Admittedly, we've got a, this is a promo card, and then these are going to be like the ooh damage defiant class. These are maybe damage cards. Yeah, it looks like the damage cards. Armor compromise. Well, these aren't, but exploding panels, guidance system shot inertial dampener failure yeah i mean we're nerds that's that's what that's what things are going to say and then we've got some crew cards this one's shiny i don't know if these are final production uh production level things or if it's more of a print and play that they sent out to creators a long time ago but uh this is what these cards look like so this this circular thing let me get one of them out here we got three of these circular things i don't know what they're for but one of them says one, one of them says three, one of them says five. So cool. We'll figure that out. What you're probably most excited for are these minis. Here is this one. Folks who know Star Trek might know what this miniature is. Seems high quality. Seems like it's, you know, on par with the X-Wing miniatures game. Here's the next one. Again, I don't know Star Trek, but I can look up the names of these ships if you need course the ships have bases that they're going to go on when they're being used so it looks pretty similar to star wars armada for example let's pop one in right here if i can get this never do these things on camera this is this is the mistake i'm making and there you go not too hard pretty straightforward look good solid i'm not going to go anywhere these are the cards that correspond to the ships. So this one is the defiant class escort and it's got all these stats these these wheels mark all kinds of stats, maybe mark what the ship's doing, statuses. There's a lot going on. That's, that's like this wheel has two things, right? You turn that and you get, uh, do you get a new thing? Something like that. I don't know. I don't, I'll, yeah, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Here's the second ship. So yeah, this is what it looked like on the back. You've got the alert, the reserve, the hull. Maybe that's like the damage hit points. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and then the crew, which is going to mark uh, what your ship is doing, what your crew are doing. Maybe, hopefully, that, that sounds right. <laughs> and last but not least, we got a whole big thing of tokens. So that's my quick unboxing of this preview kit. The actual ships in the core set are humongous. I've seen them. I saw them at Gen Con, and they really do look great. So I'm excited about the miniatures. This game seems like it has a long future ahead of it because I know WizKids is investing big in it. So check it out if it seems interesting to you. Thanks for watching. Follow for more.